What are you doing? I'm just getting some last shots of my teeth before they stick braces on them. <laughs> Hey, you're not so worried about those braces, are you? They're no big deal. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's because you're not getting them. Nothing bad ever happens to you. Hey, I had a hernia. <laughs> Look, Ollie, you're getting all worked up about nothing. Really? Then why is Dad being so nice to me? <laughs> he told me to eat as much as I wanted. That's because he knows it's the last chance for you to eat this stuff for a couple of years. Thanks for reminding me. Come on, Ollie. Getting your teeth straightened is not the end of the world. Yes, it is. I think I got it all figured out. First, they want your teeth to look good. Then they want you to start dressing real nice. And before you know it, you're getting married and complaining about how much everything costs. <laughs> and then you die. <laughs> Ticket for an aeroplane. Ain't got time to take a flat train. Only days are gone. I'm gone. Well, I don't care how much money I got to spend. I gotta get back to my baby again. Lonely days are gone. I'm a going home. My baby, she wrote me a letter. Ba 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 ba. She wrote me a letter that she couldn't live without me no more. Ba 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 ba. Listen, Mr. Bean, I got it. Do I see a brave little soldier at the top of the stairs? Uh, I hope so. Because then he can get the braces. Come on, champ. This will be a breeze. Um, you know, Dad? I think I can feel my teeth beginning to straighten all by themselves. Oliver, whoa! Oliver, come back here. Oliver! Oliver, come back! Everything okay, Oliver? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's adjust your bit. Wouldn't want to get any blood on your nice clean shirt. Okay, now that we're all comfortable. You'll never guess who's getting a divorce. Not today, Nancy. <laughs> Lydia Spaulding. It all began when Gert Haskell's husband... Definitely went... not today. <laughs> Wait a minute, I haven't even told you what I want yet. Well, honey, I've had this cut for so many years. If my cat had fingers, she could do it. <laughs> Did you hear the real reason that Cynthia Reed's daughter went to live with her aunt in Chicago? No, why? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Look, um, maybe we could do something different with my hair today. So what do you think of Kathy's new nose? Nancy, listen to me. I can't stand the way I look. You know how you're always suggesting a new style for me and I'm always saying don't get carried away? Yeah. Get carried away. <laughs> hey, thanks for inviting me over for dinner. It gets kind of lonely on the weekends when JJ and Leticia go up to see her folks. How come you never go with them? Well, I just don't like cemeteries. I want you to promise me not to say anything about Mom's hair, okay? Not a word. Hi, 
Hi, honey. How was the football game? Uh, uh, the football game. Oh, it was so good that we're going back. Yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, for the second game. It's a doubleheader. Very rare. Yeah. Wally, don't you notice anything new? Oh, it's a new dress. It's gorgeous, honey. Come on, love, let's go. Wally. <laughs> Billy, it's my hair. <laughs> so, do you like it? He's crazy about it. Let's see. But do you love it? Uh, well, uh, don't you? I hate it. I hate the way I look. I hate the way I feel. And you're really beginning to bug me. Now, you're just a little upset. I am not just upset. I'm upset, and I'm fat. Oh, honey, you're not fat. You're pregnant. <laughs> Lumpy's fat. Yeah, boy, am I fat. <laughs> We're talking large city here. Don't patronize me. You just think I'm some neurotic, swollen hippopotamus. And Wally, your hair looks pretty silly, too. Mary Ellen? Way to go, Dad. Kelly? I'm coming, Mom. Glad to see you got your appetite back. You feel a lot better today. I don't know what I was so afraid of. Getting braces was a lot easier than getting my head unstuck from the mailbox. Yo, anybody in La Casa? Hey, dude, sir. Hi, Freddy. Ha! Ah, the glare! Quick, play sunglasses. Leave him alone, Freddy. Are you kidding? With those braces, he looks like... Good afternoon, Mr. Cleaver. I was just admiring the quality of young Oliver's braces. What a relief. And I was up all night worrying you wouldn't like him. If there's a girl on the phone for you. Who is that? I don't know. She wouldn't quit giggling. Cheryl. <laughs> so, how's the world's latest victim of orthodontia doing? Okay. Except now I spit when I talk. Indeed. Next time I'll bring my shampoo. I must say you're taking it well. A lesser chap would find himself up the proverbial creek. Why? Why, given as I am to savoring the thought of a fellow human being in agony, I'm reluctant to warn you that you're in for some serious grief. You mean worse than I usually get? <laughs> Remember that day I convinced you that everyone in your class was wearing a costume to school? Boy, do I ever. I went as a sea bath. <laughs> yeah, that was great. <laughs> but when you go back to school with that hardware on your teeth, you're going to wish you were back in that fish suit. What are they going to do? Oh, they'll have a field day with you. They'll call you names like Chin Grin, Metal Mouth, Twinkle Teeth, Flash Face, Glitter Gums, Laser Lips. Chin Grin? A personal favorite. But don't worry. You're blessed with that cleaver intestinal fortitude to help you weather the most relentlessly brutal years of your life. Betty Haskell, you are just trying to scare me, and you're doing a good job. But none of that stuff's going to happen to me. <laughs> Weeks. 
night and day. Uh-uh. No way. You can't make me wear this to school. You can't even make me get out of the car. Not even when you sell it. No way, not never. And you can't even go to Sunday school. And you can't even go anywhere in public. And you can't even go to the park or anywhere like that. understand why I can't sue the racket club. You saw the whole thing. I slipped on a jelly donut. But Lumpy, you're the one who dropped it. <laughs> Lawyers. Hey, uh, you think it's okay to go in there with Sybil? Don't worry, Lump. She said she was going to the hairdresser today. I'm sure everything's gonna be back to normal. Hi, honey. I'm home. your brother's lips open while your father brushes his teeth. Ugh. Oh, thanks again, Grandma. For what? For making those cookies for Jimmy McCoy's going away party tomorrow. Five dozen chocolate chip cookies. Am I a sucker of what? Chocolate chips. Chocolate. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, no! <laughs> what happened, Mom? You dropped the chips? Oh, no. No, I'm thinking of getting some speckle linoleum, so I wanted to see how it'd look. Listen, Mom, I gotta talk to you about Mary Ellen. I've got a real crisis on my hands. Take a number. She's out of control. You ought to see her hair. She looks like a fat white Stevie Wonder. Here, Wally. I gotta go get some fresh chocolate chips. But what about Mary Ellen? Wally, you're a grown man. Every time you got a little problem, you can't come running over here. But, Mom, handle it! Boy, Dad never would have said that. Stop that. Thanks for making the cookies, Grandma. I ran out of time. These are store-bought. Nah, it's okay. I hate Jimmy's guts, anyway. If you finished, why did you run upstairs and help your father carry Oliver down for school? Mm. Hey, Grandma! Well, good morning, Oliver. Mom, I can't find all... <sighs> morning, Dad. Well, Oliver, I thought you were going to stay up in your room until you arrived. Well, I was. But I got to thinking about what you said to me last night. Oh, about the little mouse who wouldn't wear his new braces to the raccoon's birthday party? stupid part. The part about me not being able to hide out forever. You know, right before you slam the door. Anyway, I figure I better get this over with. Bye. Oliver, you haven't had any breakfast. Oh, I don't need any, Grandma. So we got the substitute teacher who always brings us food so we like her. Bye. <laughs> of this sentence 
Vincent. I'm getting a brownie. <laughs> More liver. Once again, it's liver more. <laughs> now, for the two or three of you who weren't paying attention, the subject of this sentence is... The student. have a brownie, or you can take it off at the principal's office and have detention. junk, but the guys saw it anyhow. They laughed and called me names. I was humidified. <laughs> Must have been terrible. I'm not never going back to that school again. Oh, Oliver, come here. Come here. Listen to me. The kids in your class, they weren't laughing at you. They were laughing at something about you that's different. But sometimes... When we try to cover something up, we just draw more attention to it and make it worse. Nobody wants to look goofy and get laughed at. I guess you know what that's like. <laughs> People just tease you as long as they think it bothers you. Laugh along and you're home free. I guess I could try that. I mean, it would be a lot easier than hiding in the sewer for the next two years. <laughs> Anything really good in life, like the nice, straight teeth you're going to have, doesn't come easy. Kind of like having a baby, huh? Yeah. Kind of like that. You know what, Mary Ellen? For a lady, it used to be a girl. You're a pretty good guy. Hey, what about you and me go for a soda, huh? All right. Uh, gee, you know, maybe I better get back to school before I miss recess. Good to have my Mary Ellen back. <laughs> 